Hey, what is up, guys? Asura here, and welcome to Aspects of Aim, your three-minute mini-series in bettering your skills in the FPS genre. If you're a newcomer, it's the best for you. If you're a veteran, you might still pick up a thing or two. Now, before anything, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting Aspects of Aim. We're already at episode four, so now let's just uh, get started with our topic here. Topic is going to be consistency, the basics. So how do you keep yourself consistent? A lot of people have been asking this, and... It's only down to one thing, really, is that you have to put a little bit of work to get yourself more consistent. Even just a little bit can go a long, long way. And one of those two things that I'm going to be talking about today is warming up. Now, it doesn't matter if you're going to be playing practice range, deathmatch, or any aim trainer third party program out there. The goal here is to acclimate, to bring back your muscle memory from like the the day that you played right so Im imagine this like you're playing on day one and you're so so good you sleep right on to day two you play again and you're not so good because your muscle memory isn't there anymore you gotta get things back into the motion and be and the way to do that is to warm up granted it's very different from both from any person out there but warming up is definitely something that i think a lot of players don't really do before uh, even five to ten minutes is such a big thing when you're warming up you see how terrible my aim is from going to like that to that right and just a little bit of warm up from like five to ten minutes will definitely make my aim a little bit better and just instill a little bit more confidence as well inside of you because the more you warm up you're like damn i can hit my shots now and damn that's gonna give you a lot more confidence going into your games and i know that sounds silly you know playing just a video game why do i have to do all of this I mean, for you guys who want to improve, that's something that's definitely, you know, doable. Now, another thing that people might think silly, but I have talked with uh, a Valorant pro about this, uh, Dubstep, before before he joined uh, Bren, I believe. He uh, definitely agreed when I was asking him, Dubstep, do you have what I call, you know, proper body placement? The anchoring of your body um, on your table. And that's the second topic that we have is proper body placement where you just set your body in a set uh, angle, in a set position. And it definitely helps you out because it helps you manage your muscle memory. Because if you change how you put your hand on the mouse pad, that kind of ruins your muscle memory, whether it's uh, a really big ruin or a small ruin on your muscle memory it still you know kind of changes it and ruins it a little bit which uh, in turn will definitely change the outcome of how you play in the game so as you can see guys uh you can't really see it from my camera but i'll just kind of like iterate on you guys that uh, if you look here on the face cam that i have you always see my body i never slouch either forward or backward because i want my center of gravity to be on the center so that i can allow my right hand which is my mouse hand to move as freely as possible and uh that's how i do it so i straighten my body every single time i don't need my chair for that if you want to you can use your chair and um as you can see as well i do have my arm at a 45 degree angle so that it allows for the best coverage for me now granted you might have a different grip style you might have a different arm positioning but the mentality or the fundamental is still there and the reason also why, if you look right here on the hand cam where I'm moving my hands right now, why you see the keyboard being tilted like this onto the side is because the left arm of mine is there to help with the anchoring of the body. So my left hand is actually anchored to the table, which frees up my hand to move as uh, quickly as I need. You know, just this little shift in positioning has definitely helped me out through the months that I've been playing Valorant. And whether that might help you or not, uh, I just wanted to point it out there. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this particular topic. I know it doesn't really show anything much about playstyle, but it's more about the mentality as well as the kind of preparation that you have to do. But anyways, hope that helps, and I'll see you on the next one.